So you've heard that nicotinamide mononucleotide, a popular anti-aging supplement, appears to lower triglyceride levels. Let's take a look at the research and see what we can figure out. Nicotinamide mononucleotide is safely metabolized and significantly reduces blood triglyceride levels in healthy individuals. Okay, so what is the scoop on this investigation? So basically we have 10 people who are infused, in other words, injected with NMN. The researchers basically dissolve 300 milligrams of NMN in about three and a half ounces of water and gave it to people. And they measured various bodily functions for up to five hours before and five hours after to see what happened. Now, these were people who were in their 40s and they were not overweight. And as the title alludes to, there were no side effects from injecting NMN into these individuals. There were no problems with blood pressure, systolic or diastolic blood pressure, no issues with oxygen saturation, etc. So all that is really good. But the really interesting finding here is that there was a fast and significant decline in triglyceride levels. As you can see, triglyceride levels dropped from about 80 down to about 20 milligrams per deciliter within an hour or so after the people received NMN. Now, while this is a very interesting observation, it's also worth pointing out that triglyceride levels started to rebound and go back up again after about five hours later. So if this finding is legit and NMN really does lower triglyceride levels, how long do those levels stay low? We don't know because they only took measurements for five hours after. The other big question to keep in mind here is that this study did infusions of NMN. They injected it into people. Infusions are very different than if you were, for instance, to take a NMN dietary supplement. So that then begs the question, can NMN dietary supplements lower triglyceride levels? To figure this out, let's look at this study. Nicotinamide mononucleotide increases insulin sensitivity in pre-diabetic women. This is a good population to look at because one of the signs of pre-diabetes is an elevated triglyceride level. So this investigation is a 10 week long study. 25 women with metabolic syndrome are given 250 milligrams of NMN or a placebo each day. So what happened here? The results showed that insulin sensitivity did improve. However, NMN supplements did not lower triglyceride levels. In this second investigation involving healthy men who took between 100 and 500 milligrams of NMN supplements, here also the supplements failed to lower triglyceride levels. So what does all this mean? Well, to me, one study really doesn't matter. So this investigation really needs to be followed up with another study. But next time, let's not give NMN injections to healthy people. Rather, let's give it to unhealthy people, especially those who have high triglycerides and see what happens. Regardless of all that, the research so far appears to show that NMN supplements do not appear to work the same way as injections of NMN in that they don't appear to lower triglyceride levels. But you tell me, have you tried NMN and did it lower your triglyceride levels? Leave a comment below and let me know. Until next time, I'm Joe from supplementclarity.com. Take care.